balls are flying nice and true today, nice and straight off the foot, that's what we want. Balls go really good, come off the foot really nice. It's not exactly a long run up to the ball, is it? He's a powerful kicker, Glenn Dixon. Very good last week against Harbour. Can he give Otago the early lead? He struck that pretty well, and it's over. Nice kick. Nice start to the game for Glenn Dixon. And Otago lead it by 3-0. Love one is okay, it's over, that's a very good kick. Kick from Glenn Dixon, and it looks pretty good, it is a very good kick indeed from that wide angle. to return fire, kicks this one low, looking for the touch, and that is a great match. Got Otago right on the front foot. Now Dixon sliding a little kick through. Smith's after it. Toes it ahead. Here's a chance. This is interesting. Here's Dixon, eight metres inside his own half, kicking at goal and kicking very well indeed. That is a brilliant kick. Oh, Francois Stein eats your heart out. Now let's not forget, the wind was clearly in Dixon's face. But that was an impressive kick, an amazing kick from Glenn Dixon. defence by Glenn Dixon. Fodermere, George, Baker. Very good defence from Dixon. Gee's been good tonight, Glenn Dixon. And they've won the ball. Coming from Stowers. He's murdering Sherwood Stowers. Just dragged out. Holwell. Dean Butters there. Here's well, some at the other end of the scale, Anscom. That's a Melnick, well recovered. Here for Harbour as McAllister. And this is how the first try came for Waikato. Patient. Holwell. Dean Butt is there. Orland. Away it goes to Anscom. Just holding it up and then popping the puck. Stay with the left hand side, Wilson. Trying to get the England. Backwards. Ball there. Goes left for Marshall. A long ball for Fornotier. Bumps off the first tackler. Six metres out. Good field position. Yeah, as it goes back on the inside to Guilford. Probably. Detaches once again. He's had a strong game off the back of the. Bounces out of one. Oh, swooped up at the back beautifully for Andrew Horrell. Trying to get around the outside through a forward ball and we'll have a scrum. Marshall Suckling. Oh, he all out the back to Dixon. Glenn Dixon on Horrell. Dixon for the long. Well, 
immediate assistance and that helped recycle the ball quickly. And Dixon with a friend on Dixon. Good strong driving over the ball there. Now it's with Dixon. Good run from Dixon. to Tupu, throws the pass, oh, it's a beautiful pass to Dixon, he needs some support, and he gets it. Away it goes to Noakes. Off it goes to Dixon. Smashes through a couple of tackles, including SB. Midfield bomb. And Skara doesn't get anywhere near it. Otago did very, very well. Dixon offloads it. And Weaver sends it wide, and Otago have one last shot at this. And it goes to Dixon. And, and there is the 50 points. And he took the territory back, they just lost. Change of direction from Dixon to Popoli. Now leg, frees it off to Brown. First uh, back movement from Otago, and Dixon goes through and bounces up nicely, does uh, Glenn Dixon. But the ball is still there. Romans, they stay to the right. Here's Thompson. Now Brown into the line, and Dixon there with it. Fed off to Daniel Ramsey. Took it pretty well, and manages to offload it to Dixon, who makes good progress now. Said he's a big, strong lad. Stay short, here's Tony Brown, inside ball to Glenn Dixon, dropped down but got straight back up to his feet and plays again. For Romans, now Dixon, he's going to have a crack. Dixon straight through. Brown, chance to fling it wide. A tinger now, on it goes to Giddens, to Dixon, bumps up the first tackle, scores! Yes. Now they can sense it. Well, it's a good in and out, isn't it? What could Zendua do? A still should have got him. But boy, Dixon had a bit of work to do and did it well.